Hi everyone, this is Telemachus and we're going to do Hunting License, Retired Reversing Challenge from Hack the Box. In order to play, we need to both start an instance of the machine hosting the challenge and also download the associated files for static analysis. The password for the zip archive is Hack the Box and we can play the challenge by connecting with Netcat, for example, to this socket. By doing so, let's connect with Netcat. We are prompted to take something like an exam and answer uh, questions regarding this uh, binary we just downloaded. I have uh, saved it here. It's called license. And by reversing and analyzing this file, we can answer this series of questions that uh, at the end drop the flag. The first question is pretty simple. It asks what is the file format of the executable. We can answer that by just doing file license. And we can see it's an ELF 64-bit binary let's just type elf not sure if it's case sensitive but this works what is the cpu architecture of the executable as i just said also with file we saw what that is and uh i think this format let's stick with this that's 64 it's correct what library is used to read lines for user answers, user input, I guess. And we have a hint here, actually. LDD may help. And we do what is LDD, we can see. Sorry, uh, what is LDD? Print shared object dependencies about files. And if we do LDD um, license for read line, we can kind of understand that it's probably this one. What is the address of the main function? And here we have to do some reversing or debugging or something like that in order to see what address is associated with the main function. And let's fire up Ghidra. I'm just going to drop license in this project I have named Hack the Box. We can see some info about the file already. Okay, let's analyze it with Ghidra. Yes, I'm not gonna mess with the settings. Okay, and the question we're left off is what is the address of the main function? And let's find the main. And we can see in this block that is underlined that the address is probably 40.11.72. And let's... 40.11.72, let's pass this. It's correct. Okay, how many calls to put string are there in main? And uh, let's, uh, sorry, let's see, we have here, this is main, decompiled, and we can see three, put string, put string, four, five, so I guess the answer must be five. Correct, what is the first password? Okay, things are getting juicy. If I run license, we get into this, uh, so you want to be a relic hunter, we have to pass some challenge and uh, we're prompt to reply if we want to take it okay first a warm-up what's the first password basically this file will this program will ask us for three password values one is harder than the other to retrieve and we can do this by debugging or reversing uh, license and we also need to actually answer here uh, what is the this this password value to get the flag because this is just to help us you know play the challenge by reversing it but the actual challenge is here so let's begin we see main is characterized as undefined, but actually it returns zero, so it's it's int, and we can fix this very fast. We can see the program starts, so you want to be a relic hunter, what we saw before. We answer yes. It checks if we answer the yes here or exits. If not, we, if we're not, uh, you know, we don't want to take the challenge or whatever, and then the exam starts. So let's double click here and see what we have. Uh, okay, first a warm up. What's the first password? And it uses read line. So this is, uh, let's make our life easier. Let's rename this variable to user input. And then it's doing string compare user input with the clear text value of the first password, password number uno. So this is very easy. Uh, it gets harder later. So let's answer. This is the first password. Let's do this here also. And it says getting harder was the second password. And uh, let's return. Uh, if it's wrong, if, if string compare returns not zero, it means that these two strings were not uh, the same. So the program exits. Else it uh, frees the user input. 
and we have a reverse function here something's happening we have also this weird structure t object we didn't see it uh, defined or initialized probably some global object or something because it wasn't in main either but we can definitely find it with the symbol tree it's here here's where it is and it i think this address has some some bytes some data and we can definitely read this and we will discover the next password but let's see what is the deal again we have to read line getting harder what is the second password so this if this is our input in string compare this must be uh, the value of the second password password to value and let's see what is the deal with t and what is its value we can use the bytes display bytes and i think it's in with ascii here also you might need to enable this by where is it no oh here we are yeah hex ascii you might need to click this and then okay to be able to see also the ascii and we can see if you read this reverse its password too okay so let's grab this value did i select everything here I'm not sure what i'm doing maybe maybe this is not good yeah it's not perfect can i do this really fast okay i pulled this off so this is the reverse uh version of the password and uh yeah actually it is asking for there is the reversed form of the second password so let's just paste it here and let's see again what is the deal i'm closing this window so this password to value the second password is going through reverse so i guess when it comes out it's actually not reversed and uh let's also put it here so let's reverse it to be normal so echo it's password rev and here it is password to let's paste it and we're at the final test now the third password which is the hardest one moving forward we see that the user input is freed again we're just after password to value we see some zor happening here and uh, again we're prompt to enter the final password value so i guess we can assume this it is compared with our input so this must be where the password three value is stored rename password three value and let's see we have some zor uh we have this t2 now structure we can see the data but this is not gonna work because this value is essentially encrypted and zor is a bit level operation so we actually need to copy these bytes we have to work with these bytes let's create this uh this function in python uh and just decrypt it so first i'm going to just do something like um x equals this value because i just want to turn it into hex values let's add also oh let's just do this dot replace uh space with comma space zero x this should bring it in the correct form except of the first one <laughs> okay we'll fix that let's open a programming text editor I'm gonna use genie which is really light let's say say data equals a list of these values let's fix this one too zero x okay we're good to go with this uh this is actually t2 we're also let's see what is the deal <clears throat> let's correct these values here the arguments so we can understand better what is happening i'm going back to exam uh what is the input in zor it's the first one is password value three second one is t2 and then we have two hex values one is decimal 17 the last one is uh decimal what is 19 okay uh let's go in here and fix this rename where is it rename variable it will be this it will be 
T2. You are decimal 17 and you are decimal 19. So this makes a lot more sense. It's really simple, just uh, a for loop uh, that will run 17 times, I guess, and is going to uh, take store in the byte array of password value 3 uh, every sort byte of the t2 structure so let's recreate this in python it's pretty simple so this is gonna be i equals zero and let's do let's save this as zor dot i on my text desktop so for i in range Come on. 17, I guess. Right. We need something, some byte array to store, to, to store password three value equals byte array. And it should be the length, I guess, should be 17. Um, okay. Zor, this should be just 19 because we haven't defined the 19 and uh, we don't need this we just need to do password value um, i equals t2 i and at the end let's just print password 3 value and <laughs> let's see if this is gonna work no oh just a single mistake here listing the index out of range oh yeah this should be 17 actually let's run it and it's third and final this is it and let's see if it's correct what is the final value third and final well done hunter and if we go here what's the real second password the real second password is this but reversed and the, ser the third password and final is this value let's paste it wrong answer okay oh what is the zor key used to encode the third password it's 19 what is the third password? It's this and we're done.